Hello and welcome back and today we're going to continue our look at Synology High Availability and today in part three what we're going to talk about is what happens when we lose connectivity to our primary device. The idea is if you've checked out my other videos that when you create a Synology High Availability environment you have two NASs that are perfect clones of one another and what you see is a phantom third NAS and the idea is for your connected users and you that in the event of a NAS failing your end users and you connecting shouldn't really know the difference. So what we've got there is the unit set up on the screen. We've got both devices all showing on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull both the network connection and the heartbeat connection out of this Synology NAS. And we're going to see what happens to that screen. So presumably there's some graphic that's happened on screen where something's been minimized and something's been maximized. But what I'm going to do now is pull complete connectivity from this device, kind of simulating it dying as far as the network's concerned, and seeing what happens to these devices with the stuff on screen. So one, two, three, and they're gone. They're out of there. Let's move to the screen. I'm watching this live just as much as you are. I've never, you know, never done this before, so we're going to find out what's going to happen. Now we've completely lost connectivity from the primary NAS to the network connection. So on the screen, we've still got both of these NASs. It's trying to give me admin information there. Um, first and foremost, let's start scrolling through and see what happens. So can I access the folders and files? At the moment, we're not seeing anything. We haven't got a reported event. It's let us know that the completion of that cluster was done there. Operation failed. So again, we've lost connection to our cluster. If we open up the search for NASs on the network, We'll do a quick check there. Our secondary NAS, the second NAS we paired, has just beeped. I'm sure you heard that on the microphone. You didn't need me to tell you that. And we'll have a look here and see how this is going to behave in this high availability situation. So it can't find it on the network. And right now, I presume our secondary NAS is now going for a system where it's now being reclassified. Admin test 3, the phantom NAS identity has reappeared back on the network and the IP hasn't changed from that one that wasn't working to exactly the same IP. We're going to log in, hopefully with the same information as before. And it should give us information on our cluster and see what's happened. So it can see that it's lost access to that primary NAS and it's moved into the secondary NAS. If we move into the file station and folders, we can see our 50 gig of files. And again, it's still on the network, still utilizing that same IP as previously seen. We've got all these files, and again, we can conduct a download. It's downloading at about the speed you'd expect from a standard 1GBE connection. And again, we've now got access to all of our files and folders. And moreover, all of the identities have not changed a jot. They're exactly the same, and that secondary NAS has now picked up the connection. Um, now, that's really what happens in this scenario. I've seen it done. I've never done it myself live, and now we've seen it um, here in front of us. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reconnect that first NAS. So say in the event that this Synology NAS had broke or uh, one of the drives had failed, or for one reason or another, the first NAS had been deemed unstable. And then what would have happened is that would have been removed in the same way that we've done now. So what I'm going to do is reconnect this NAS as if it has been found again. So we're going to see what happens on our desktop, how long synchronization takes, and what exactly the Synology does when we reintroduce the Synology, either the same Synology or something else in an SHA environment. We're going to see what this does on screen. So straight away, again, it's lost connection to that uh, um, that particular IP and admin test 3 our Phantom NAS. Um, hopefully we will hear a beeping noise from one of these two devices shortly. I can see here from the rear that all LAN lights across both ports, both on the heartbeat connection and the network connection, have started lighting up. So if we do another quick search here on the screen, we'll see if it picks up admin test 3. And at the moment, it's seeing admin test 1 and 2. So it's gone back to its original identities of admin test one and two, which is very strange indeed. Didn't expect that. And if you may also notice, the IPs have gone back to 144 and 221. So they've gone back to their original IPs, their own identities on the network that we gave static addresses to originally. So again, we'll do another quick test. 
We'll try and do these tests maybe every 10 to 15 seconds and find out what's going on with those. I'm sure you've got a counter on screen, so you can count 10 to 15 seconds a hell of a lot better than I can. Um, but once again, we've still got two different identities for our Synology NASes, and presumably both of these two devices are near enough identical in their files and, fo and folders because of th these have been formed at exactly the same time. So chances are the Synology now wants us to reconfirm their identities. Because as far as it's concerned, that original box that we had there didn't have an identity. Um, but what we can do, we'll give it one more search, and then what I'm going to do is make my way into both of these two individual NASs on screen just to see what we can see. But right now, from what I can see, both of these two devices are maintaining their original IPs. Let's get that over to there. Let that refresh. We're going to admin test one. Sign into you. And of course, the other one will go into the original admin test. Let's get those in the correct order. So let's have a look. Split, split brain of all things. How terribly frightening. So we'll move on to there. Admin test two will go into now. Get rid of that one. Admin test two, if we go into that. So admin test one was our original unit, uh, apparently that's suffering a split brain. Um, and the second unit should be the one that we've now got access to, but as far as they're concerned, they, this NAS is now having identity issues where it can't it can access those files and folders, but these are now independent. Think of that as a little bit between your two hypothalamus, the little connecting point between your brains. But what we could do is go for their split and resolve. So reserve both servers on the uh, HA server. So have a look. And what this will do now is it will start synchronizing these two devices. And we resync the servers. Put that password in. And of course, when we do this, the other NAS will be wiped. And then what will happen now is it's now going to reconnect and resynchronize these two NASs. Now, if I try to guess, I think this is probably going to take another whole day for it to synchronize them just like it did before. But at least now we've got a fallback position. And you can it at least lets you access these NASs independently rather than trying to force you into an unconnectable network environment. But next we'll do another test after this when this is resynced where we do a read or write operation to these to see what happens when we disconnect our Synology high availability server. But otherwise thank you so much for watching. Buy your NAS from Span, read about NAS on NAS Compares, subscribe to the channel for more information and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so in actual fact, the transition only took under a minute. And straight away, as you can see, admin test two has now become the primary. We've reintroduced that first NAS that we had in the previous unit, and that has now become the passive. And all of the data is still findable on the device. If we go into the file manager, there's our 50 gig of files. And on top of that, there's that lovely IP that we've gone through so many times now, 199, and that's admin test three, the second unit, is gone and if we really quickly run the Synology Assistant we will see that only admin 3 is now findable. So as you can see it did transfer over and the introduction of the second NAS or in this case we secretly know to be the first NAS became the passive and it's really that straightforward. Do stay tuned for the next video uh, where we're going to be doing a read write critical event which is going to be quite good and of course You'll be pleased to hear that Eddie the web guy is going to be on that video because he's as nosy as I am and wants to know what happens when you have a read-write operation and one of your boxes dies. Thank you so much for watching. Buy your NAS from Span. Read about NAS at NAS Compares. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.